New setup, who dis? <laughs> My voice broke hella bad right there. Sounded like a 12 year old boy on the verge of puberty. So we got a new setup, I'm so. I'm so freaking proud of this. I got a new ring light. I got box lights. I wanted to just make my background plain. Honestly, the shelf, I could see it right here. The shelf hasn't gone away. I might still film over there when I feel like it, but I was really just in the mood for something different and something clean and crisp and 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 ethereal. Fancy Nancy, you know what I'm saying? And I wanna thank you guys so much for helping me make this happen. I've been so blessed with my sponsorships and all my opportunities, so I was able to kind of of splurred a little bit it's going right back into the business guys i am trying so hard to just bring you guys like the best quality videos i possibly can i love what i do here and it's really nice to be able to make it brighter and shiny um so yeah th that's just my long-winded way of saying i got a new background i've heard you guys' request about you guys wanting to see me do more talking in my videos because lately i haven't been talking so much in my videos that is due to me not feeling the greatest guys i'm about strep throat all that just have really kicked my ass but we are gonna do just a talk through get ready with me today we're gonna use all drugstore products and I'm gonna do like a nice fall look because it's cold today and it rained yesterday also there was thunder which I'm not a fan of. Yeah, I was showering and then I heard thunder, which is not the noise you want to hear when you're naked and vulnerable. So I immediately got out and texted my boyfriend and was like, hey, you're staying the night. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do our makeup and our new setup for my skin. I already went ahead and moisturized. I used my Juno & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream. I think this is technically the only thing that's not drugstore. I've just really been into this for priming. Not so much skincare. I mean, I do use it sometimes when I'm not wearing makeup. Makeup, but this does have dimethicone in it, but not a huge amount. The hydrating ingredients are far above in the ingredient list, which tells me that there's far more hydrating ingredients than silicones and alcohols and all that stuff. So I use this to prime. It's kind of sitting right now. It feels really good. I like the way it makes my skin look. Just keep in mind if you are using this product to really focus on your skincare afterwards. I don't like my hair being in my face when I'm filming. When you use my e.l.f. Putty Primer, this is a good one you guys and i'm just gonna go ahead and use this in my more porous areas what do you guys think about my skin do you guys still think i have the prettiest skin ever i always get so many compliments on my skin but you guys have never seen me under lights you guys have never really seen me like hd under three different lights so how are we feeling she's not as perfect as you guys think fam i can't breathe underwater I really only focus this primer in my really porous areas. So right here, that's why I grabbed such a little amount. Our Cookie Get Ready spray. This is so good. I don't know when I became so obsessed with it, but I did. So how have you guys been? I've been good. I feel so much better now. I got my nails done. I'm almost done with my antibiotics. They put me on antibiotics for a minute. I didn't know strep was like that serious. Apparently it's like serious. <laughs> I'm using my AOA Sculpting Brow Pencil, by the way. This isn't technically drugstore, but it's a dollar. So it's very affordable. I got really sick. Like I wasn't, I was dying. I didn't know it was strep for the longest time. And the thing about strep is there's an infection in your throat. The thing that really kills you, not literally, well maybe, I don't know, is that you're constantly like, swallowing the infection. So it does affect your stomach. It made me so nauseous. It made me like really gross sick. My poor throat, but also my poor butthole. Like it was bad. <laughs> it was a situation, a really intense situation. I lost seven pounds. <laughs> Not in a healthy way, I might add. I was dehydrated the house. Is this too much for you guys? Might be, I thought we were family. I really want to thank you guys for all your comments and stuff um like telling me what to do what not to do like just giving me advice telling me what to take reminding me my birth control might not be a thousand percent i actually did really need that reminder <laughs> and a lot of you guys were like a bitch i get strep like twice a year and i was like where the hell are y'all leaving your esophaguses that you're catching strep twice a year? That sounds miserable. This is the first time I've ever gotten anything like this. Honestly, gross. I am gonna go ahead and play with these brushes that I got sent a while back. Truth be told, God, I had them. So these brushes are from Badass Beauty. I got sent a little package from her 
She's a flippin' sweetheart. I was gonna wear one of her shirts that she sent me too, but truth be told, son, it's cold in here. I'm always cold. Look how pretty my nails are. Always cold, always hungry, always yawning. I usually, I usually like every, I would say religiously every two weeks, I would give my makeup brushes to my niece to wash because my niece washes my makeup brushes because she's awesome and she's amazing and i haven't been like i live like 45 minutes from my parents and my sister so i hadn't visited the visited visited them in a while and when i do like i just don't think about my makeup brushes so it's been a minute and then i took a look at my makeup brushes and i was like fam and you wonder why a bitch is breaking out, son. It was bad. All up here. And I don't break out up here or in my cheeks. I break out right here just when it's that time of the month. But right here, mm -mm. your girl is blessed in many areas. And not suffering from acne is one of those. Yesterday, my niece came over, thank God. And she was like, yeah, what the f***? She didn't say that, but I'm sure she was thinking it. And she packed up most of my makeup brushes. She left me with a select few because she knew I was going to film today. Shout out to my niece, Alondra. Honestly, Alondra, she's the best. We are steadily planning her quince, BT dubs. My sister is doing such a good job. Like, so much is already done. And her quince isn't until January. BT dubs, Alondra is the only other January baby we have in the family. I was the only January baby for, I want to say, like, 12 years or something like that. And then Alondra came up, and she wasn't even supposed to be born in January. She was supposed to be born in March. That's a whole other can of worms. My sister is a straight savage my sister went through a scare but she and her uterus handled that one like a champ i just ordered my dress today well i ordered three but that's because there was a sale there was a really good sale and my excuse was i'll wear one to the church because there's always a mask for quinceanera i'll get one for the church and then i'll get one for the actual fiesta because i'm extra like guac pero i know you guys are asking bitch what are you gonna do with the third one <laughs> point is my brushes are getting cleaned so we are gonna be working with these today. So we're gonna do our tape thing. This always works better when you're not wearing makeup. Like it just sticks to your skin so nicely. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100% that one. We are having such a good brow day today. So many things left me in shock in that video. And this pencil was seven of those things. Who's excited for fall TV? I'm so... I am titties up about it. I am all about my good doctor, my sunny, obviously my sunny, longest running relationship, 14 years, going very strong, very happy, very in love, super sore, that's my ish. Any other good doctor fans out there? No? Okay. The palette we are gonna be working out of today is the Dream Street palette. This is the Kathleen Lights palette. I bought this palette a few, almost a month ago. I bought it during the ColourPop Memorial Day sale. They had so many palettes for literally like 10 or 12 bucks. And I love ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I think they're awesome. And I love Kathleen Lights. And this I got before the So Jaded palette even got announced, which I was like, I could have gotten another palette, but it's okay. I'm always down to support Kathleen. I didn't buy this when it initially launched or dropped because I didn't have the funds to do so. And I'm so happy I get to play with it now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab Mooney real quick. And this I'm just gonna use to kind of highlight my brow bone. She has a little bit of shim in her. So it's just gonna be perfect. Oh, that's so pretty. Next, we're gonna go into, I don't know, probably Shooting Star. Or no, you know what? I'm gonna grab Magical first. Like it's one of those shades that you don't really see, but it makes a difference still. Like it just allows for such a great gradient in your eye look. Dope. I really wanna go in with Stardust. I, I don't know why, but this shade and Twinkle are so unique to me. Like even though they look like shades you probably have always seen and like will always continue to see, like they don't look very special, but I'm telling you like they, these are different. Okay, well Twinkle actually feels different. She feels kind of like a super shock shadow. Stardust feels pretty normal. I am gonna go ahead and just gonna, I'm gonna use both of them. We're kind of gonna do like a little halo moment just to get some Dimension, but also because I really want to use both. We're going to go into Stardust first. Such a pretty shade. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just so stupid pretty. I'm going to go ahead and grab Twinkle now with my finger and I'm just going to pack it on. With oh my lord, look at that shift. <gasps> Damn. 
I know I'm about to get judged about my oval long nails. I know I'm gonna get called a grandma and get told I look like I have old lady fingers. But you know what, everybody? What's wrong with having old lady fingers? I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of this little Kajal. I'm not the biggest fan of this, to be honest with you, but it's the only one I have on hand. Like it's literally right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And then we're gonna try something. Bear with me. So we went ahead and just kind of did a liner with this shade right here. Water bearer, water bear. Have you guys ever seen a water bear? They're like this big, but they're like super cute. This is my little pop of color moment. I actually really like how it looked. It didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to look out, but it's nice. Just a nice little winged moment. I do kind of have to clean up under here. Let me get a wipe. These Bioderma little micellar towelettes. These are so good. Cool beans. This is a really nice little simple kind of moment. We're gonna go ahead and use my Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. This is drugstore. This is super affordable. This is one of my favorite foundations on the planet, you guys. This is so good. These hairs always wanna get in the way. Sir, can you not? For our concealer and powder, we're gonna use both items from CoverGirl. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer and the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals Loose Mineral Powder in the shade Banana. We are gonna use this one again from Badass Butte. This feels so soft. I love that she's tapered too. This gets right in all the creasers, all the crevices, all the nougats. What? We're just gonna go ahead and blend this powder off. I don't really wanna set it for too long because I'm not trying to look cakey. Also, like I said, it's kind of cold outside and my skin has been going through it, so I'm not trying to make it feel more dry. That kicked it off like nothing. All right, brocha work. Yo, my nose looks so snatched right now. Damn. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the face. To finish off the face, to smoke out this lower lash line, I am gonna go ahead and go into my Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette. You can find Makeup Geek at Target. Every time I open this palette, son, quiero llorar. It's such a pretty palette. Is she the most affordable? No, but is she the best? Oh yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this guy right here. I lost my straw. I don't know how. I lost my straw. So I've been drinking from my cup like this. It's cool though, we're still saving the turtles. Now we're gonna go into this guy right here. This dude, this bitch, homegirl. If Maria Gloria had a palette. When Maria Gloria has a palette. We're gonna go into now what I'm pretty sure is cherry cola. I'm like 67% sure of it. Keeping it with the drugstore theme, we are gonna go in with the Rimmel Scandalize Kajal Liner. I think this is a Kajal Liner? Nope, it's a nude though. Keeping it with the theme. And then for mascara, we are gonna use a mixture of the Collection Volumizing Mascara and the L'Oreal Million Lashes Volumizing Mascara. Yo, these lashes are roided out, fam. They're huge. I'm gonna go ahead and use my LA Girl Blushed Babe palette. This is such a good palette. It's at Ulta. They have a few of these. We are gonna use the contour shade that's in the palette. It doesn't have a name. Still cute though. Make it work. She's a little stiff. Just a little. Como que no tiene ritmo, you know? Okay, for blush, mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't really like this for blush. We have a blush brush over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same powder brush that I used earlier for my blush. It's whatever. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use Keepin' It Peachy, or Keep It Peachy, this is by Wet n Wild, one of my favorite blushes of all time. I bought, I'm gonna say two weeks after I bought Max Peaches, like the iconic MAC blush, that's like $30, and I haven't used it since. Honestly, like it's kind of sad when you think about it. Oh well. 
Pero que le vamos a hacer? For highlight, I am going to go ahead and use this Milani highlighter. This is in the shade Strobe, strobe Light, like the thing that causes seizures or whatever the F. And we're going to use uh, one of our newer brushes. This one is actually really nice. It's like tapered. I'm pretty sure it's like made for highlighting. Is it the highlight or is it the brush, sir? I'm not really seeing anything. I'm going to try another brush just to see. Oh yeah, it was the Rocha. We're gonna go ahead and set this face down now. We're gonna use our Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Controlling Spray. She is also a good one, not a great one, you know, but it's good. And then for lips, we are going to line them with this Jordana lip liner. This one is in the shade Rock and Rose. This is one of my favorite lip liners ever. Truth be told, I thought I lost it. Y casi me cagué. This is such a pretty lip liner, so pretty. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use this one from Beauty Creations. This is such an affordable, affordable brand, period. But their lip products are actually really good. You guys have seen me use a couple of their lipsticks already, and they're, and they're bomb. This one is in the shade Obsessed. And then to top her off, I'm going to use this ColourPop lip gloss. This is the ColourPop Times I Love Sarai lip gloss. I think it's called Lip Glass or Glass Lip. The love is so real with this one. We're done! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bam! <laughs> I actually really like how this look turned out. It's not a lot of a lot. It's honestly very my style. Very soft glam, very toned down-ish. But I've been doing burgundy smoky eye after red smoky eye after chocolate smoky eye. So I feel like this was kind of appropriate and I really like how it turned out. I really like the palette. We knew I loved this guy. But this guy, I do like it. I will say, however, I should have used another palette if I wanted do us like a fall look because this is definitely way more springtime but she worked we made it work i love the lips did we try anything like new today not really oh actually you know what the brushes the brushes are actually quite good guys i'm actually pretty impressed there was only one brush that i didn't absolutely love but that's for the situation that i used it for i'm sure for blush or even contour this would be a great brush so hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial i do not do tutorials very often here um or like sit down and like I will never stop showing off my nails. I love them so much. My nail lady did such a good job today. Boom, 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 boom. And then she ooped. SK, 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 SK. <sighs> I'm gonna go now. I have to go. I'm gonna go visit my sister. I'm gonna go pick up my baby. I'm gonna go eat a bagel or three. I feel like I just heard somebody say my name. Hello? Hello? Mm -hmm.